Hello everyone, this is Crafting from Mommy. Uh, my name is Paz and I am back with another Hunky Dory slash create and craft haul. So um, Hunky Dory and so a lot of the other companies out there are now releasing their holiday 2020 collection. Hunky Dory is one of those companies who release it middle of the year. So June, um, early in June slash July. Um, just to give us crafters enough time to get our work done either you know for our relatives and for those who are selling their cards and their crafts online then at least you've got your supply six months before the big um, month of the holidays um, so as always I got this from create and craft um, I know what's in here because usually create and craft puts in in this um, in the customs declaration page of your package they usually put in um, what you ordered so at least I know that these are my acorn wood um, hunky dory collection um, for Christmas um, I, I mean, things are getting better in terms of shipping I ordered this of, on June um, 16 so that's just two weeks ago and now it's here so I am impressed I think some things are slowly getting back to normal um, and they've also started capping their shipping to the usual charge of $7.99 per order at the height of pandemic um, I do remember I even paid $22 for an order um, for you know for for shipping from the UK to here in the US um, East Coast US so okay so let's get started um, hunky dory came up with its mega mega collection or the big bundle collection that they have um, you know for Christmas early in June unfortunately I missed out on getting that big bundle um, I don't miss it either because um, it's beautiful like every every year they really turn out a good collection and I know in the next few weeks once I see it at a good price I will get it again but I will get it for myself but I still have a lot of leftover and even untouched kits from the previous year so um, I told myself that I would like to use that up um, first, although it may take me three lifetimes to use up everything that I have in this craft room, but um, I cannot resist the acorn wood. And once you see it, you'll know why. Um, so hold on. Let's just rip this apart. Whoops. Okay. So I know what I did is a combination of the collection, the paper collection, and they also offered stamps. Um, so which I like. I like stamps because I do a lot of coloring as well so it's just very appropriate so okay so let me just see what I have in my invoice so there should be two collections hunky dory Christmas and acorn wood paper collection in here um, the expectation is that they're going to be 60 sheets of the entire collection and 48 sheets of the tag so in this particular collection, I know instead of a little book, which I've talked to you guys about not only yesterday, but on my other um, tutorial in using Hunky Dory um, little books, is that they're starting to vary what they put in. And for this acorn wood, um, what they did is a tag pad instead, which is so appropriate because, you know, Christmas or the holidays, there's usually a lot of presents being exchanged among friends and family members. So you could definitely do a lot in here either as a gift tag or as a topper for your um, cards okay now this is why let me see if i can zoom you guys in a bit or is this comfortable now uh yeah okay there you go so now you know why i was able to um get or i chose to get this is because it's a non-traditional um you know um colorway and also illustrations for christmas it is it's i mean initially your initial reaction is that it appeals for kids but um for me it's like not really like for those who love vintage books particularly those that are children's stories you know way back um 
I think they still do it definitely at this point but um on an earlier first edition type of box um you know early in the century this type of graphics is what I imagine um uh, for it or what I hold on a second let me let me choose my words correctly it evokes the same nostalgia and the same look and feel to me um on this co this collection compared also to vintage children's books who seem to have the same look and feel when it comes to illustrations okay i think i i was able to articulate it clearly so as always um i I usually buy two um, of the collections simply because I'm always afraid to run out of it. <laughs> um, what did I get? So I got this and then, yeah, collections. So I think this is the papers. These are the papers though. Okay. All right. So one collection, I have two. And we'll flip through both. So I'm going to set aside the other one. That's a double for me. But this is how the entire Acorn Wood collection looks like. You're going to get three packages. Um, one is for the paper and we'll flip through on that. But the main um, collection is just right here. It's also a matastic. Um, so Honky Dory is known for their innovation when it comes to bendy ink. Um, you know, cardstock that is super high quality that even when you... Um, uh, score it, crease it when you use for boxes and all that it doesn't show the core or it doesn't um, it doesn't crack I think that's a key thing they have the glossy finishes they have different finishes on it this one is the matte and I love their matte finish um, they do it in the you know as um, they they choose it on the best collections that will showcase that type of aesthetic um, properly so you know, I mean, I'm hands down a big fan of them. They also have this. So I, I know there are specialty papers in here, which we'll flip through. And then they also have the tag pad. So let's open this up just so you guys can see how beautiful this Christmas or holiday collection is. Okay. So as always, let me see if you guys can see everything. Yeah. Okay. That's, um, that's more like it. So as always, um... Hunky Dory gives you an inspiration sheet um, just so to kick up to kickstart your mojo when you got this collection. You at least have a good example of how the cards were put together using this collection. And what I love about Hunky Dory is that they have a certain look. So it's a lot of very thin matting of their Miri cardstock or those um, metallic foiled cardstock. Um, they do a lot of 6x6 six six or square cards. Sometimes they do an 8x8. Eight eight. Um, and there's also unusual card um, uh, card shapes so they do a lot of this elongated um, rectangular cards a lot of easels are always in their um, in their example and it's such a joy to always look into this and then get inspired before you get, keep on crafting um, usually in a collection of um, hunky dory they also have um, what we call concept cards so it's it's already pre-cut pre-measured all you need to do is to pop it up out of the carrier sheet and um, it gives you cards like this um, things that is um, unusual when it comes to shape and how it's put together all of them are usually dimensional so a lot of layers like this and a good number of them are interactive cards um, such as a rocker card or something like a 3d um you know an easel card they usually sometimes do smaller boxes of it um so it's always a delight to get something from them um this is the rest of the collection if you wanted to get more of so you can definitely get more card stocks um more card inserts and paper I have the stamp set, which are about seven pieces of stamps that will coordinate in here, and then you also have the tag pad okay. So look at this. This is what I love when it comes to Hunky Dory. So this um, elements, topper elements, are usually three layered, um, layered type of uh, cutouts. So there's a couple of frames in here, which you can use with this graphic. Or what I usually do to stretch it out a bit is that I use this somewhere else. 
you, they make use of all the different um, you know they make use I can't speak today they make use of um, the entire real estate of their 8 by 11 and a half um, uh, paper and collection that you can see a lot of borders that they put towards the bottom and you can use this as border of your cards and just look let me see if it's, it's it focuses all right just look into this right it is there you go it's all foiled and it's not only the border that's foiled look at the delivery there you go see that's foiled and also if you look at the leaves the holly leaves the side of the, the leaves are also foiled so that attention to detail is what I love most to them so um, acorn wood is about cute animals like this so you've got your reindeer uh, you've got your hedgehog and your bunny wabbit um, mostly in the scene look at this little guy um, you know sending a card through the royal mail so for those of you who are in England um, or Great Britain you usually see like like their phone booth the the red phone booth you you know the they're in the US are USPS you know the traditional blue uh, metal mailboxes when you go to Great Britain or to United Kingdom it is this um, red red um, mailbox that you'll see everywhere so putting it on the post and then you've got this um, corner element that you can use as well um, either in conjunction with this graphic again it's laid out so perfectly that if you wanted to do a square card you could just um, pop it all up and lay and you know slap them all together or not or you can actually do this use this in another card okay sentiments as well for them it's not just a traditional rectangular or square um, sentiment they do a lot of the circular ones um, just so when you put it in your card there's a lot of interest because there's so many um, there are so many um, shapes and patterns colors um, and foiled accents that you can um, that you can use okay so they gave two of these in the collection and that's how it usually is um, when it comes to Honky Dory and Kanban, there's multiple of one sheet. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this. And also a snow scene. And smaller tags like this, which are great for sentiments on cards. Oh, a snowman. With the fox and with the bunny wabbit. See, there's also a little mouse. Let it snow. Anna Griffin have um, dropped her preview product preview for July, and she would be bringing in a snow globe die. I could just imagine some of these that I can, you know, you can put at the back of um, inside the globe, and then make it as a shaker. I think it would look lovely. And again, what I love are elements like this. They do have borders that run through the entire length of the cardstock. And it says, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. So you could definitely snip this up into multiple um, multiple sections. And you can use this as your um, sentiment or just as a border in itself. And look at this border. It has all the animals in it, the smaller animals. You've got the hedgehog, you've got the mouse. Oh, so cute. Okay. And then, of course, you've got the boots, the wellies, as they, um, as we call it, too, the rubber boots, gum boots, um, here in the U.S. Uh, so you've got the wellies, but this time in, um, in an illustration or in a color palette and pattern that is appropriate for Christmas. A couple. Of bunny wabbits um, kissing under the mistletoe. Oh, mistletoe kisses for you. So these are the things that are good to give for um, our special someone. Wish upon a star. Happy Christmas. That's the same. Do I still have more? Yeah, I do have more. Hold on. Let me set this aside so we can go. Oh, okay. 
let's just put it aside on that. Okay, so that's those are the card toppers. I think these are for the concept cards, and it's just get um, best to just do it in the order that they have. Um, these are also the card stock. So a lot of you might initial think, so what am I going to do with this? Um, what I do, I definitely don't fold it and say this is my card. Um, I cut it apart just to spread it out a bit. So you can cut it apart like this, put a topper somewhere in there, do it the same way. Um, you know, make good use of this. This can turn easily to two different cards or four different cards, um, depending on how you want to use it on your layouts. Stick to. Um, these are solid, you know, card base um cardstock cardstock weight um that is good enough for card bases so this is the um lady and the boy rabbit kissing under the mistletoe and then these are the concept cards so let me just show you this okay so remember this um the rocker card that you are going to layer four different layers um together of um decreasing sizes but then again you still make one picture out of it so this is it okay so these are two different toppers for two different cards so you've got your base You've got layer one, layer two, layer three. You stack it up, line up the graphics until you could see, um, you know, how it looks like. And I reckon you've got two. So this one sheet is good for two cards in itself. So you've got eight. And I believe, okay, so these are the cutouts for the rocker card. So it's already here. It's already pre-scored. And all you need to do is to fold it. Um, and you know stick all of those together it's different colorways simply because you also have different look and feel for this so this you know if you're if you're unsure which one to use look into your topper sheet and then look at the at the um, print on the background because that is what is suggested so you have this to go with this if you so wish but it can also go well with this right so that's how versatile and good the colorways is of Honky Dory um, you could definitely mix and match because the look feel the tone are the same okay so this snowman oh so cute it's the snowman and the fox they even give you the envelopes for the concept cards and then these are more of the cardstock that you can either use as your base for the cards or um, you know to cut apart just so you can you can use this as a base but not necessarily the card base but like a base graphic and then layer your toppers on top of it so similar to the other collections just look I mean this is foiled as well on the side so it's not just um a sprinkle foiling they really thought about on how to get this graphic done all right so you have you will have two of each the graphics goes back into the patterns on the toppers so cute Oh, this is darling. And this, um, you can put this on a twist, on a twist, um, on a twist card. You can fuzzy cut on the sides. So adorable. So this doesn't have any foiling on it. But it's the softness of this illustration that is um, part of the appeal. It's like as if someone have drawn this in charcoal pencil and in colored pencil.
and then this is the royal mail post this corner cut it apart use it somewhere else and there you go okay so it's a good it's a good size of a collection um, and for only a few pages like that you, they also give us an option for the concept cards let me just um, where's my inspiration sheet okay it's somewhere here in there so that's it then you also have the, they also come with um, specialty papers like this and this my friends this I know this is printed is this print no it's just paper I thought it's printed vellum um, simply because of the way it looks double-sided um, just so you're it's versatile on how you want to use it And you've got three of each design okay this coordinates two on the in on the um, initial collection that we have um, so look right for this and this they pick up the color and the graphics for both for this so it's easy to work with it because you're not gonna mess up the colorways and the patterns because it is repeating pattern all throughout the work so by the time that you're done with this you have a very uniform and a very polished look as if you're a rock star in putting um, a complex collection together okay this is that charcoal um, drawing look these are for the inserts, this paperweight. Um, so you can put this inside your card, stamp your sentiment in there. I do that um, for this area, but usually for this, um, I try to make, um, to land this on the top of my card. Um, because it's so pretty to be kept inside. But sometimes that's also the magic of having a beautiful luxury card, right? I mean, the, the, the inside is as good as what's the outside. Mm -hmm. So hedgehog and the raccoon decorating a tree. Sorry to be flipping this back and forth. Oh, the bunny visiting the neighbor. Look at the small feet on the fence. The wellies, the bunny kissing under the mistletoe, royal post, the fox and the bunny and the snowman. Yeah, so lots of paper, specialty paper that comes in that collection as well. Um, then let's start looking for the tag. Looking at the tags. Where's my scissor? And you know what I usually do with these tags? I use it similarly to how I use my little box um, stoppers. I um, it, it it's so intricately illustrated that um, even if you make it as a tag it's going to be one of those memorable tags that I doubt if the recipient will throw out when they open their present okay so this tag pad 12 different designs four of each so 12 by 4 is 48 and it's 300 GSM so good cardstock happy Christmas you don't really need to do anything more in here maybe you could just put in some glossy accents a little bit of sequins here and there but this in itself is good so it's the same graphics that we flipped through earlier on um, the specialty paper and on the toppers so you have the cre um, cre decorating from uh, you know tree decoration from the hedgehog and the raccoon you have this. 
you've got let it snow the wellies oh <laughs> so cute reindeer and the hedgehog so you've got plenty four of each design you're not gonna scrimp on using this Oh, this is nice. Meet me under the mistletoe. Oh, that's so adorable. Meet me under the mistletoe. Season's greetings. What did you wish for this Christmas? Okay. And then, we have these. So these are the stamps, and let me see if you guys can see it, can you? Let me just turn it over, because this is how, this is the graphic. So you have um, usually three or four pieces in here, in this case it's three. You've got the sentiment, merry and bright, you've got a, cer a certain element in here, and then you have the main picture. So here, this, this, and this. And you can color this, oh I love this. And then this one, Christmas kisses. Three pieces, you have this, the lights. Um, you can fuzzy cut this and you drape it all around. You've got this one, which is Christmas, Merry Christmas to all. With the reindeer, baby Rudolph. Um, and three different styles or designs of snowflake. have this one two three tis the season oh so pretty with a snowman warm and cozy winter wishes oh, with the wellies from our home to yours oh so cute look at this and then you've got the presents that you can scatter around from our home to yours with love at Christmas and you also have this season's greetings and both cutesy animal wishing um, on a branch with their stockings on it so adorable all right so that's it um, acorn wood Christmas Christmas in acorn wood because they do have the regular collection in this which is also equally cute like for everyday card making um, I know I have it there somewhere um, in my wall of hunky dory and Kanban oopsie anyway it's um I'm lo I was looking for the idea sheet but this is it We've got the tart bag um, concept cards and you have the stamps okay well, that's it, and I hope you once again like this um, this flip through of Hunky Dory uh, stash. And um, if you would like me to do something with this, just comment below, let me know, and I'll you know do a tutorial. All right, have a good one, guys. Bye.